My name is Todd Wilkerson. I'm the Education and Career Planning Coordinator here at Heritage Hills. There are so many jobs available where students need uh, skill and technical areas. There are many opportunities and we feel like the CTE programs are preparing those students for those opportunities. CTE stands for Career and Technical Education. The idea is to let these students have uh, real world experiences in the classroom and connect that to the theory that they're learning. Here at Heritage Hills, when we talk about college, we talk about any education after high school. Uh, we want students to understand that today there are many, many opportunities where they can go and learn a skill, spend maybe two years in college, maybe less, and go out and secure a great job. Paul Steinmetz with the Ag Program has really been doing a great job with all his FFA work and, and the stuff they do in the agricultural sciences. My name is Paul Steinmetz and I am the agriculture teacher here at Heritage Hills High School. Agriculture is pretty wide encompassing in that uh, it includes a lot of career areas. I believe there's over 300 career choices in agriculture. So we need them to know and understand the basics to get them started in, in such a diverse uh, career field. A lot of people, they look over at the ag building and they say, well, I'm not an FFA, I'm not a farmer, so I don't need to take a class over here. But in reality, it could teach them a lot, a lot of hands-on learning stuff. I've been in the ag mechanics class for two years, and um, we've learned everything from sweating copper pipe to plumbing to pouring concrete, and now, right now we're working on welding. It really encompasses a lot. Uh, I started in seventh grade. Um, I've been in for six years now. This is my senior year. You know, not a lot of other students, you know, have the opportunity like us to be in the shop and work hands-on. And a lot of students are hands-on learners, and they're not getting as much of that in their regular classroom setting. But it really just helps you out in a lot of different areas, and I think that people should know that it's not all about farming. I want them to be able to leave here with a, a large repertoire of uh, skills and abilities that they could apply not only in their personal lives, but in their professional lives uh, as well. Andy Fisher in the engineering department has been uh, great. We've got a lot of excitement and interest uh, in that field right now with engineering and construction. My name is Andy Fisher and we are working on the engineering program here at Heritage Hills High School. The first level of the engineering program is intro to engineering, it's IED and that's where all my students are in right now. They brainstorm, they have to write and draw up ideas in their engineering notebook, come up with a plan, and then they implement that plan and then they have to build it. They build it and then they test it and then we test it as a full class. Our engineering program with having it be the first year, it's really like taken off. The hands-on <coughs> aspect is really what draws a lot of people to this class. He'll give us a challenge and we have to think of our own way to attack it and so the creativity and imagination is a big part of it and it really comes out in a lot of people in this class. I actually signed up for a camp this summer is engineering and they asked if we've had like experience with certain things and Inventor was one of them so it's nice to get that kind of experience. It's helped me realize that this is what I want to do more. With my career I wanted to be an architectural designer. This engineering class really like gave me first-hand experience of what engineering will take and um, what I'll have to like focus on and learn from in order to be an architectural designer. I wanted to enlighten students that Engineers just aren't bridge builders and architects and that type of stuff. So every week we have a different type of engineer that we study. From food engineer to marine engineer. Really excited about the program, it's really growing. Students are excited about it because it's a lot of hands-on work and teamwork and that's what we're promoting. We've got a great auto program. Carl Hall's doing a great job where the kids get some great hands-on experience in the auto program. I'm Carl Hall. I'm the automotive instructor here at Harry Chills High School. When you complete the program, you'll have 12 credits in automotive technology. You also have a chance to earn 10 to 15 credits from Ivy Tech through our dual credit program and other various colleges you can go to for automotive or diesel. We offer a sophomore classes for your intro. We offer a junior class for Auto 1 and a senior class for Auto 2. We are ASC certified, so they come out, they take an ASC certification test in 10 areas and they have a certificate they can take right onto the dealership or the workplace to show them that they know what they're doing. 
the sophomore class it was really informative and then once you get to your junior class and you start getting more hands-on because you have two periods a day in here so one period's in the class and then one period's out in the shop senior year you're in here one period and out there two periods but the more you stay here the more hands-on you get and the more knowledge you're earning even if you just take your sophomore year you're gonna learn all the maintenance stuff to save so much money on your vehicles throughout the years oil changes and tire rotations and you can just learn the basic knowledge of motors and everything it's, it's great Employers uh, are excited about the opportunities to, to work with high schools. I think, um, you know, they, they realize that they need us to prepare students to be great employees and we need their technical expertise to prepare our students. My name is Scott Berger. I'm the plant manager here at National Office Furniture Santa Claus. We've been in operation for roughly 40 years. We've partnered with Heritage Hills High School to help develop the CTE program. We've been able to introduce the students to some of our professions. We've been able to acclimate them with opportunities for future employment, maybe help even shape around what they want to do in the coming steps after graduation. My name is Dan Hagedorn. I'm the Human Resources Manager here at Spencer Industries. We have uh, around 200 employees in Dale. Heritage Hills and their CTE program has contacted us to see what they can do to, to have students ready to work when they get out of school. We're really excited about it. We like working with Heritage Hills people. We want to draw people from Spencer County. I think employers are very clear about what they, what they need out of their employees, out of their students. They understand that they want them to have a, a baseline knowledge of the technical skills but the employability skills are huge also. What we're looking for in employees are those that are um, passionate around their line of work, not someone who just wants a job, but somebody who's looking for a profession. Communication skills are also important. You have to be able to communicate with your peers and your supervisors. Computer literacy is very important as well. Check your computer at each machine to see if your machine's performing like it's supposed to. We're gonna need people that can adapt to an environment of being able to work with a machine while also understanding the program behind that machine. So those who understand robotics, controls, PLC programming, they will come in with a step ahead of the competition. I think many times students and parents don't really realize what's available in our area and I think that's where we have to do a better job of connecting uh, local employers with the talent that we have coming out of our schools. I think we've done a good job of communicating with students to this point, but we need to do a better job of communicating with parents and, and make them really understand that there are some great opportunities for their sons and daughters uh, that, that don't require a four-year degree. What you need to be hired here is a high school diploma or a GED. We have machine operator positions that we train on on the job. We can hire you in directly as a CNC technician if you had a two-year degree in that. Any maintenance positions would require a two-year degree. And of course, any engineering jobs would require a four-year engineering degree. It is a key component for our parents to know they don't have to invest in a four-year program or have their, their children um, take a heavy load of debt just to get a, a good career. Having the parents see that opportunity and understand it and talk to their children about those opportunities is a key success for us in this local community.